Hey everybody, it's AP, and today I'm not only making a model, but I'm lighting it as well. Check it out. So this time last year, I was in Chicago at Star Wars Celebration, and it was magical. <laughs> spending any time with my fellow Star Wars nerds, uh, basking in the glow of new content and celebrity and cosplay. It's just, it's a magical thing. And it was a year ago this month, actually, uh, that Star Wars Celebration Chicago happened. And while I was there, uh, Bluefin, Bandai, um, they are producers of models, fantastic models. Um, they had a booth at the convention center and they had a con exclusive. It was a 1 12th scale triple zero um, from the Afro comic series. Now, for those of you who don't know, triple zero is a protocol droid. He looks very much like C-3PO, except he is all black and he has these beautiful red eyes. He is an assassin droid, so he does all kinds of bad things uh, to help Dr. Afra in her journey to find strange Jedi artifacts. So, He's been sitting on my shelf for about a year, actually exactly a year now, and I figured it was time to put him together because why not? What else are we going to do? We're stuck inside. We can't go anywhere. So I put him together. But not did I only put him together. I also lit him. Yes, I lit him. I put little tiny LED lights into his tiny little head. And this video documents that journey. This is a bit of a show and tell, but hopefully you learn what I did. And so you can light your very own C-3PO or triple zero if you happen to find one on eBay uh, in your future. So check it out. So for the lights, I'm using two SMB LEDs. I have, I have more LEDs than I care to admit. That's all right. I'm a nerd. It's okay to have all these things lying around. So this is a, a red uh, SMB. See? Can you see that? Probably can't see that it's red. Trust me, it's red. Uh, Triple Zero's eyes are red because he is a an assassin droid, uh, so that's why we're going with the red lights. But I need to be able to run these lights all the way down from the head, down his torso, into his leg. So what we're going to do is... Those SMB lights are going to go into those holes right here. So I need to cut out a channel to fit those in there. Okay, so what I've done here, if you can see that, you probably can't because it's black. Okay, so I trimmed away a little bit of the eye hole right here and on the left and on the right. And then I trimmed out this little channel here to accommodate the cables. And then on this piece, uh, I drilled the eyes out and then I cut this is like micro work I cut a little channel out on each side to accommodate the, the leads and then I just took out this little piece here and so if all if I do everything correctly I'm going to take my all right, so I'm going to put one in here, and I'm just going to run it down, and then one in the other socket, like so, so like that. All right, and then let's gently, there we go, is it in? I think it's in, okay. So now, if I've done this all correctly, oh, 
Check it out. Yes. So I have to drill a hole in through this neck so I can connect the head to the body. We have a head on a neck. What I did here was I cut out a channel so the cables can run down. So let's see if that actually worked. Look at that. Okay, perfect. So there's that. <laughs> oh, ah, but I cannot put the chest on because, ah, because this is why. So I have to do this a little, little backwards here or a different way than I had expected to. One thing I have to do is I need to trim out this knob or this pin out because it's bending the uh, the leads and I think I have enough stability here to hold this on to the body so gone flew across the room holy crap we can clip him yes into place kinda okay I need to drill through here. I need to remove this section here and then continue drilling down here to run the cable. So, And we're back. Um, that took exceptionally long, but now there is a nice hole in that ball joint there. So we're going to, before I do anything, I'm going to run these lovely wires down. Okay. Now that we have this right side up, let's continue. Or should pop right into place. Okay. We have a midsection. So now is the time to solder on the lead extensions because I've run out of um, these leads. And so I'm just going to put on uh, just a regular thin gauge uh, wire to run me through the remainder of this, which is pretty much the legs into the base, into the um, switch and battery compartment. So I'm going to, this is pretty straightforward. It's, I'm going to solder these guys together, the positive and positive, the negative and negative, and then the red lead to the positive and the black lead to the negative. But first let's tin these up. Uh, tinning is really just putting a little bit of solder on the lead, on each lead, and then uh, it helps Helps when you're soldering these all together. Just makes it a little bit easier. Just a little bit. Okay. Try to get it as flat as possible. There we go. One done. Next. Okay, we have our leads. He's good. Right. 
Okay, so now we need to run the cables down the leg. Um, I did it on this side already just to, just to test out how the best way is to do this. My issue is, is that my gauge wire is a lot thicker than I, uh, you know, is just much thicker than it should be. Um, or not should be, but just um, if I had a thinner gauge or a higher gauge wire, um, this would have been a heck of a lot easier. I had to do a lot of cutting out of the leg to accommodate the wires. And in fact, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna have to glue some of this together now to add some of the structural uh, stability back into it. Um, but now that I know how to do it, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did with the right leg. So what I'm gonna do here is I need to trim out this piece here and a little bit of this piece here. And then the cable is gonna actually run down next to the joint through this new hole into that hole. And then we'll get into the knee. So let me just trim that piece out. On this side of the thigh, I need to trim out a little bit of the top here just so I can run the um, the cable down now I have my two sides of my thigh and I'm just going to go like this I'm going to so I'm just kind of wrapping it around the hole and then I'm going to put this on top and ooh, it pinches nice and tight okay and then ah Christ Let's plug him in. Oh, all right. So we have the upper thigh in. Look at that. Now, the ankle, or the, uh, this is the uh, knee. And this is kind of a pain. Um, but I need to drill, drill from the top of here all the way through here, out the bottom, and then through this piece as well. There we go. And I believe, okay, so then I can, unlike the other side that I completely messed up, I believe I can just, eh, nope, wrong, there we go. Ah, oh, gosh. I really wish I hadn't screwed up the other side like I did. All right. Okay. Oh, it just came off. All right. So He's all together. All right, so I drilled two holes in the base here and I also trimmed out the bottom so I could install my battery holder. But unfortunately, my battery holder is a little too thick for this. So for I'm going to order just a, um, a smaller um, three volt battery holder that will fit in here but in the meantime i'm just going to run it out the back and uh and call it good well, maybe i'll run it tight against the back yeah so anyway So there you have it, my little triple zero. He, um, this, this was not fun. <laughs> there was so much friggin' drilling involved and he is so tiny and fragile. Um, I have yet to actually install a better uh, 
button and battery holder. I have the parts, I just haven't gotten to it yet. But uh, this is how he came out. I'm actually, I'm satisfied. Um, if I had to do this again, if someone said, hey, will you light this for me? I would say, no, please, God, no. I'd rather spend my time building ship models instead of uh, these guys. I've never been a character model guy. Uh, I just, you know, buy the toy. Why build the model? I'd rather spend my time building a studio scale TIE fighter or a uh, Star Destroyer or a BD-1. But he was an exclusive uh, for Star Wars Celebration Chicago, so I had to get him. You know, FOMO, YOLO, all that good stuff. Anyway, I hope you learned something today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Tell me how I did. What did you do? What would you do differently? And don't forget, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on when I upload more nonsense like this in the future. Big subscriber shout out this week to my very own Obi-Wan, Mr. Timothy Nugent Head, my pals Emily Whitmore and Neil Anthony, and my very own Aunt Rini. Yes, thank you Aunt Rini for subscribing to my channel. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time.